So champions, I believe all of you are doing great, having a good time. Since you guys have passed your class 10th, now you are moving to class 11th, okay? And I would recommend you one thing. That is, start preparing for this neat examination from now onwards only, okay? That's why it's mentioned over here, 24 months clear plan, okay? So my dear friends, I'm assuming that we'll be giving this neat exam in the 2027, okay? So for that, you'll have to prepare from the starting itself. Now, if there are students saying that, sir, for the first year, like for in the in the class 11th, I'll have some fun. Okay, I'll start preparing for the NEET from class 12th onwards. If there is a student saying, sir, I'll take the drop and then I'll, I'll. So basically what happens is that the probability of the probability of cracking the NEET keeps on decreasing when you keep on delaying. So keep that thing in your mind. If you want to crack the NEET, you have to start from the basics. You have to start from the beginning and the class 11th itself. That's why I'm recommending you over here. There are a lot of students I have seen, I have personally trained, okay, who were not able to crack the NEET in the first attempt, in the second attempt, in the third attempt. The reason was because they didn't start preparing for this NEET from the class 11 itself. Okay, so if you are starting this NEET, if you are starting this preparation for the NEET from the class 11 itself, and we, I, I would say 99% guarantee is there, you'll get the government medical college in the first year itself. Okay, because every year you keep on saying the cutoff is increasing, increasing, okay? Last year it was 655. So if you want to enter the medical college, you have to start preparing from uh, right now only, okay? So basically, in this particular video, I'll be giving you the plan from the class 11th onwards what you are supposed to follow, okay? The first question is when to start, when you are supposed to start, today, tomorrow or right now? I would say the answer to this particular question is right now. Don't delay at all, do it right now itself, okay? Now, if I say how much is the time left for those students who are right now moving to the class 11th, okay? So I would say you have got, you have got 24 months, okay? And when I say 24 months multiplied by 30 days, that will be 720 days of yours. So in the next 720 days, you'll have to give the need. You'll have to give the need. Now, my dear friends, so in the first 24 hours, okay, from this time to the next 24 hours, I would say you guys are supposed to basically analyze these things. The first thing is over here, that is, that is understanding need. Okay, if you have to crack this, you have to make this as a goal from the beginning itself. If you want to crack this need, you have to understand what is the pattern of the need. Research, do the complete research. Okay, check the syllabus. What are the chapters that you have? What are the topics that you have? Okay, and, and we say weightage of every single chapter. I have already made a lot of videos on the weightage. This chapter is having this weightage, this weightage. How many questions are coming from this chapter, that chapter, okay? And what are the pattern of questions? which are asked in the NEET examination, okay? I have also made the question on these also. And some of the sample papers, okay? This you can ignore as of now, okay? Because you won't be able to understand the sample papers. But these things you guys need to focus on as of now only if you are a serious NEET aspirant, if you want to crack the NEET in the first attempt itself. Now, guys, after this, after this, what should be our approach to all the three subjects, be it physics, be it chemistry, be it biology, okay? How we are supposed to... Study all the three subjects from now onwards. This is the, that's why I say this is the plan for the next 24 months. Now, my dear friends, the weekly schedule is, and, and one more important thing I'll tell you over here. If you want to crack this need, I say if you start from now onwards, you don't have to study for 18, 19, 20 hours. No, just be consistent. The amount of time I'll tell you, uh, in that amount of time, if you study for the next 24 months, definitely you are going to crack the, that is for sure, okay? Now, guys, what is the weekly plan, weekly schedule in this one? From Monday to Friday, I would say. See, guys, you are supposed to go for the lectures, okay? Like if you are sitting inside the batch, like we are starting the Unacademy's batch for the class 11th. So, we say over there we'll be taking the one-hour lecture every single day. Apart from that, you'll have to do the one-hour practice level. When we talk about the physics, one-hour plus one-hour, okay? Then this will be two hours daily. Every single day, you'll have to give the two hours to the physics. One hour will be the lecture duration, and one hour will be the practice. And then you have got the live lectures, okay? My dear friends, sir, these lectures will be live or recorded. You are supposed to go with the live lectures. Keep that thing. And the lecture should be detailed lectures. It's not like you'll start with the one shots. No, you have to go in a detailed manner. And make sure you make the handwritten notes, which are very much important because at the end moment, when you have to revise a chapter in just five minutes, handwritten notes will help you at that point of time. Okay. And my dear friends, how many questions, a minimum of 100 questions you guys are supposed to solve from every single chapter. 
This is very much mandatory. Keep that thing in your mind. Okay. Then, then, then. We say, we have got the PYQs. We have got the examples in text questions. So, these are the types of questions you have to follow in every single chapter. PYQs means previous year questions, which have been previously asked in the NEET. Examples means which are present, which are mentioned in the NCRT. Okay. And in text questions. So, no need to go for the in text questions when it comes to the physics from the NCRT. Okay. So, we say previous year questions, examples, and, and I would say over here plus teachers questions, teachers questions. Okay. The questions which teacher will show you in the class. Okay. And then most importantly, stick to a particular teacher. It's not like, sir, today I'm teaching learning from this particular teacher. Tomorrow I'll be learning from that particular teacher. That is going to waste your time. That's all. Okay. Okay. Because if you are setting up your frequency with a particular teacher. It is not possible for you to set up the frequency with some other teacher at the same time. Okay. And on Sundays, my dear friends, will be have you, you should give the weekly tests and weekly revisions. Okay. Whatever you studied for the entire week, you guys are supposed to revise that and you guys are supposed to give the test. Keep that thing in your mind. And when it comes to the chemistry, guys, guys, weekly schedule from Monday to Friday or some people can follow this schedule from Monday to Saturday also. That's not a problem. You can do it accordingly. So we say from Monday to Friday or Monday to Saturday, we say one hour will be the lecture, okay? And one hour NCRT reading plus practice from the chemistry, inorganic and organic perspective, we say NCRT reading is must keep that thing in your mind, okay? So go with the live lectures, okay? Or, and, and detailed lectures, this is what we can say. Handwritten notes, very important in this one also. We say practice a minimum of 150, 200 questions from every single chapter when it comes to the chemistry, okay? Yes. Then my dear friends, in those questions, you guys are supposed to follow the previous year questions, examples from the NCRT, in-text questions from the NCRT, very important. And here also stick to a particular teacher. On Sundays, whatever you have to, whatever you have studied, you are, you are supposed to give the test for that. Okay. And you are supposed to go with the weekly revisions on Sundays, whatever you have studied for the entire week, do the proper revision. So you can basically from Monday to Friday, you can do the study. On Saturday, you can do the revision. On Sunday, you can go for the test. This is the schedule that you can follow. Then, my dear friends, you have got the third subject, that is biology. Here also, one hour lecture, one hour reading plus question practice, okay? Live lectures, detailed, detailed lectures. It's not one shot over here. It's detailed lectures. It's detailed lectures in this particular case, okay? Yes. And my dear friends, we say handwritten notes, practice, okay? How many number of questions you guys are supposed to follow? No limit. Okay. As many as possible. You guys are supposed to learn every single line from the NCRT when it comes to the biology. Because this is the most scoring subject. We say previous year questions, examples, in-text questions. Okay. Memorize diagrams in case of the biology from the NCRT. Charts, we say graphs, every single thing you guys are supposed to do. Mind maps, okay, from the biology. And stick to a particular teacher over here also. And I would recommend you guys to basically do the revision on Saturdays and on Sundays, you guys, you guys are supposed to go for the weekly tests, weekly tests. Now, my dear friends, once you are done with this, so in the, at the end moment, at the last month, this I'll be telling you later on, you guys are supposed to do the revision strategy, okay? This is the strategy that you need to follow, like the comprehensive revision. We say full length mock test, analysis and the practice. This will be doing at the end moment, so leave it as of now. Now, my dear friends, if you ask me, sir, whatever the plan you have shared as of now, is there any batch inside an academy in which we can learn according to that particular plan in which we can learn from you because we have been seeing you on YouTube from very long time. So my dear friends right now you can we are we will be basically launching the Nimbus batch for class 11th very soon. Okay, Nimbus batch for class 11th very soon. So for that you'll have to take the an academy's plus subscription an academy's plus subscription. Sir, what is this plus subscription? This plus subscription means, means whatever the batches inside an academy are running right now, currently, you can take the admission in all the batches. Like, like, plus subscription is right now for 4,499 rupees, okay? Now, when you take this plus subscription, if I say, sir, this batch is running inside an academy, set of teachers are teaching in this batch, set of teachers are teaching in another batch. Sir, can I learn from all these batches? Yes, if you take the plus subscription. This is not just a batch. It's not a batch. It's a plus subscription it means you can learn from every batch. So if there are five test series running inside an Academy's UG platform, you can enroll in all the test series. That is also 
available in this plus subscription and this plus subscription for this this offer is valid till 9th of march only okay and my dear friends in this particular case i would recommend you guys to use my code that is y a w a r okay if you want the maximum possible discount the link is in the description below click on to that link and, and join this plus subscription learn from any batch if you want to learn in our batch nimbus english you can join that batch also or you can learn from any other batch in just this much amount of money okay so the link is in the description below click on to that link and join it so see you guys very soon in the batch and make sure you follow this particular plan very seriously very properly so take care and bye bye do smash the like button because liking the session is extremely mandatory thank you so much take care and bye bye